Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our biology lesson and the topic of discussion is cell physiology. So we are continuing from where we reached uh, the last time and uh, today we are looking at the factors that affect the rate of diffusion. So in other words, we are asking ourselves, what are some of the factors that are likely to make diffusion to occur faster or slower than usual? So we'll have those factors. So one of the factors that affect uh, the rate of diffusion is a factor called diffusion gradient. Diffusion gradient or concentration gradient. Now what does that mean? A uh, diffusion gradient is the difference in concentration between two surfaces. You may have one surface that is of high concentration and another surface that is of low concentration. So we can say that there is a concentration gradient. So in other words, we can say that this is the concentration difference between two regions. the concentration difference between two regions. So in this case, what we say is that the higher the concentration gradient, the faster the rate of diffusion. Or you can say the steeper, the steeper the concentration gradient, the faster the rate of diffusion. So if two surfaces have a very wide difference between them, then it means that the rate of diffusion will be faster. But if the difference is almost the same, then the rate will be slower. Now, the second factor that we shall uh, learn about is the thickness of membranes. Diffusion takes place across some membranes in the cells, like for example the cell membrane that we have or that we learned earlier. Now, so we can say that the thicker the membrane, the slower the rate of diffusion. So we are saying that the thicker the membrane, the slower the rate of diffusion. Because the particles cover a longer distance, cover a longer distance, and vice versa. So the vice versa says that if the membrane is thin, then the rate of diffusion is faster because the particles will go through a shorter distance. The third factor is the size of the particles. The particles that are diffusing, what size are they? If the particles are very heavy and very big, 
they tend to move slowly. And if the particles are small and light, then they tend to diffuse faster. So we can say a uh, large sized particles take longer to diffuse than small size particles due to density or due to the weight of the particles. Another factor is the temperature. When the particles are heated, they tend to diffuse faster. What does that mean? That the temperature uh, gives kinetic energy to the particles, making them to be able to move faster than before. So we are saying that temperature increases Or we can say increase in temperature increases the kinetic energy of the particles making them to move faster. So that is temperature. Point number five, there is the surface area. And we can say that the wider the surface area, the faster the rate of diffusion the faster the rate of diffusion. So if the, large, if the surface area is wide, then the particles are able to diffuse faster. So today, we have learned about the factors that affect the rate of diffusion. We have seen the diffusion gradient or the concentration gradient, which we have said is the concentration difference between two regions. And the steeper the difference or the wider the difference, the faster the rate of diffusion. Then we have also seen the thickness of membranes. Some membranes are very thick and therefore the diffusion of the particles is slow because the particles are covering a long distance. Number three, the size of the particles. There are those particles that are of large size, others are of small size. The ones that are of large size, they will tend to take longer to diffuse because of their high density and their large size. Temperature, we have said that increase in temperature, for example, when you heat something, you increase the kinetic energy of the particles. So you make those particles to move faster, to diffuse faster than if the temperature is low. Then finally, we have seen the surface area and we have said that the wider the surface area, the faster will be the rate of diffusion. So we are going to stop there for today. And the next thing that we are going to have is the assignment. So the first question, explain the term diffusion gradient.
number two also explain how the following factors affect the rate of diffusion. A, we have temperature, and B, we have the surface area. So, the assignment for today, explain the term diffusion gradient like we have explained it. Number two, explain how the following factors affect the rate of diffusion. And the first factor is temperature, and the second factor is surface area. So we are going to stop there for today. Goodbye.